So my family and I just got back from our 10 day trip around Northland in the wilderness double for four motorhome. And this is what we thought. Overall, the motorhome was beautiful. All the amenities inside felt totally like luxury and top notch for being crammed into, you know, a vehicle that you can drive on the road. Um, felt like a little hotel room, which is really cool. Um, the double for four format worked really well for our family where basically the back half of the motorhome is a basically a separate bedroom you can shut off and that meant that for our little our little boy's um, afternoon and evening sleeps uh, we could shut him away and it meant that we still had access to basically the, the entire cabin to still yeah cook and make cups of tea and play games and relax um, and you know he's just shut away in, in the back room and nice and quiet and dark um, and safe there uh, we were supplied a bubble cot from wilderness um, and we actually strapped that down to the back bed so we knew Milo was nice and safe wasn't going anywhere um, and it meant we could yeah shut the door and um, know that he was nice and safe for his sleeps which was really cool so the double for four motorhome um, seven and a half meter long motorhome it basically had everything we need it had full kitchen had shower um, toilet heating big size fridge really comfy bed um, that tucks away into the roof was really handy yeah so once we did park up it just felt like a little motel room on the road really parked up right next to all these beautiful northland beaches it was really really amazing driving it was just as easy really um, felt like it had plenty of power nice and easy to drive smooth to drive and just all of the fit out is really thoughtful everything's got little rubber gasket everything's nicely snug and fit in the motorhome so as you're driving nothing's rattling around like crazy we've driven other motorhomes where it feels like the whole thing's gonna fall apart and shake apart but everything's really thought out beautifully and um, snugly tucked away so that and when you're driving on you know sort of dodgy rough New Zealand roads the whole thing's not rattling and shaking like crazy so it's really really nice other than that traveling with a one-year-old anyone who's got a one-year-old knows that it's not the most relaxing thing in the world uh, but it was really special and um, we made some really awesome memories Milo took uh, Milo uh, learned to stand uh, when we were at Kaiwi Lakes which is really cool and we've just got loads of awesome uh, photos and videos of basically our first family holiday together so that was really really awesome yeah I would s probably suggest this configuration of m motorhome to families having that separate be bedroom just means that you can just um, put the kids to bed and then still have you know basically a full-size motorhome to yourself as adults to you know relax once the kids are in bed have a glass of wine cook cook your own dinner and just uh, yeah chill that's really cool